We'll come down to Port St Mary. Uh, this is part of the community here when the mobile library comes into town. Sandra's with me. Um, I've been just taking some shots and all the time people come in and they're all, every one of them is saying this has got to continue the service. It seems a valuable thing you're doing here. It certainly is, especially for people out of town. You know, this is the whole point of it is we go to all the rural areas where there are no other libraries. So it's a really important to them. Well, I didn't even know until this thing, you do stamps, you do some postal work? And we what do, we sell stamps and we take posts and we, it's collected at the end of the day from our main library in the, the family library in Westland Road in Douglas. Okay, now other people say, you know, we're in the age of the Kindle and that sort of thing, electronically people have books now mm -hmm. on demand. Is this a dying out thing? Is this what the problem is? Is it very much an older sort of thing people use in the libraries? No, it isn't. I think people do have both. Mm -hmm. Kindles are very useful for when you're going abroad, you know, going on holidays and things, because you can have all your books on one device, but then you've still got to charge it, and mm -hmm. it could you could lose it and get broken and things. So I think the physical book is still is still there, and people still want it. I mean, they, we do have lots of people that said they've tried Kindles and they still come back. They still prefer the mm -hmm. books, um, and there were so many of the books and so much you can get from them. I think it's just the whole the physical thing, physical oh, yeah. thing is. Is a big thing. Now you've had sponsorship in the past because we, we, we've covered this story that you know it, it was almost going numerous times it appears and then right at the brink someone comes in you get sponsorship. Mm -hmm. It is under threat again but you have got some updates I think. Yes the update we've had this week um, recently and we've just put a news press release out literally today is that there's a sponsor that's previously been sponsoring us they've agreed to match pound for pound everything that we raise but we need, still need the total of 250,000 for the year. Whoa, that so seems a lot, quarter of a million pounds. Yes, it's, it's for both services, it's yeah. the family library as well as the mobile service. Yeah. So it, we do get a lot of benefit from that money and it's looking after the building, it's all the overheads as well. It's That's a lot of money to find though, isn't it? It is a lot of money to find. But if they will match up to 125,000, which means we have to find the other 125,000. So what's that, a lot of coffee mornings or what? It's coffee mornings plus lots of sponsorship from other people. Yeah. Um, we've got people doing parish walk for us. There's three people doing that this year. And we have other other ways of people just generally, if they just want to give us money, we've got e easy fundraising, which is if you buy things anyway over the, you know, over the internet, you can actually elect to give us money while right. you're doing that. So that's a really good way of doing it. Um, as what, you say, coffee mornings, anything yeah. like that. Would be what time scale have you got on this? I mean, to sort finances we've out? We've literally got, we've, what we've raised so far this year, we've got to make that up to 125 to get the money for ne matched for next year. Um, and we've raised about 55, 60 now, and we've got to the end of July. So that's the time scale. Our financial year ends at the end of July. OK, well, so you're talking about the small end there, but obviously people watching this, businesses, that I guess you're interested in hearing from exactly. people who would like to come on board. We have had, co we've got Microgaming behind us. They've mm. funded us, they've given us 10,000 for three years to keep the mobile vehicle running, to do the maintenance and all the running costs of that, which is brilliant. But if somebody else could do something similar, it's the actual costs of keeping us going and buying the book stock and everything that we do. That's what we need the money for. But if corporates, other businesses out there, or individuals have got the money that they'd like to yeah. donate to a really good service, then that's what we're looking for now. And how do they do that? They can ring us on 640650, speak to myself or Mary Cousins. We've got a website where all the details are on there, which is www.familylibrary.im. Or they can email us you know, individually. So there's all the information's out there. But certainly give us a call, please. We really do need it. Do you think I'll be back with you next year? I mean, would you like, obviously, long-term funding? Of course really? we would, yeah. yes. I mean, every year we've been threatened. We've still managed to get through, and then we're really hopeful that'll happen again. But it's a worry, isn't it, for you? It's a worry for everybody. And, we'll and for all, all the, the whole... It's a worry for us. It's a worry for the people that use the libraries and the children that use the family yeah. library. It's life, you know, it's starting their education from the beginning when they join. And this will be one of those things when it's gone, it's, it'll never come back. It, it is. We have customers that we've just been to a lady now who can't get out to us anymore, so we take books to them. And we have quite a lot, we've got nearly 500 customers all over the island, so they they really do use us and they really do value what we do. It's like it's a community like centre on wheels, isn't this one? It is, exactly. You can see that now, you know. Yeah. People meet every fortnight when they come here. They might not see each other again from the fortnight, but they'll catch up on the news, what's you going on. You know all the goss, right? I do everything. I know everything. <laughs> and I'm not you. saying anything. Exactly. <laughs>
But it's, you're right, people who don't get out at all, this is a big thing for them. It is, it is. It does mean a lot to them. And people said that to us, you know, we said, what would you do if, if we stopped coming? And they said, we don't know because there's nowhere to go. We can't get out, we can't drive anymore. Our family are working. It's, you know, it's hard to find what, exactly what we do. And none of the other libraries on, there are other libraries on the island, mm -hmm. obviously, but they can't provide the type of service that we do. OK, well, let's put so the website up again because people watching this online, obviously, they can look yes. at you up and find the details, yeah? Yep, yeah, familylibrary.im. Uh, ring 640650 and get in touch and tell us how you can help us because we really do need the help. Mm -hmm.